feminine side. That ultimately, this is a book about helping women like myself. This is very much a memoir, part memoir, part advice book, um, talking about my experience and my own mother growing up, who was very much an alpha and never could shift out of that mode. And it caused a lot of problems. And you know, of, there was a lot of contention there. And one of the problems you say is when uh, men and women enter a relationship in the beginning, generally the man is the alpha and the woman is the beta. So that's how all, almost all relationships start, right? You as a man make the phone call, you pick up, you pay the bill, you actually even ask the woman to marry you, right? Unless it's Sadie Hawkins dance. <laughs> right? right, unless it's Sadie Hawkins. So in that natural state, a woman is much more receptive mm -hmm. to your energy. It's they're, they're on the receiving end. And then I think what happens over time after you've been married a really long time, especially once kids come into the picture, is that women get into this mode of just you know, sort of micromanaging everything. They're working, they're not working, but if they're not working, they're raising their kids, so they're working at that, and therefore they're micromanaging that. And that's all fine, but if they don't switch over into wife mode, kind of back where they were when you started, I think the relationship begins to deteriorate. So the beta becomes an alpha, and then the man becomes confused, and maybe she so, should be the beta? Um, yes, precisely. Okay. So, some tips. Yes. <laughs> Please. So, um, <laughs> I'll put this down. I was going to use this as a prop. What are the, what but, well, are this, was a, yeah, this was my prop to show that um, in order for batteries to work, you need the positive and the negative energy to go together. Okay. Right? This, nothing. Two positives, not good. So, focus Two on the positive. So, good. the goal is to get one of each. And if you're bringing the alpha energy to the table, and he's an alpha by nature because he's got all the testosterone, you're going to be like two bulls in a china shop, right? And then if you're, and if you want him to be the more feminine, person in the relationship, I guess you could do that, but that usually doesn't work for most people because women are naturally feminine. So you're alpha when you go to work, you're powerful, you're strong, you come home, and what does the husband need from the woman? The husband needs from the woman softness instead of hardness, so happiness instead of anger, um, um, being more compliant and less dictatorial, um, basically not telling them what to do. I don't know how else to put it. Right. Uh, uh, men don't like to emphasize the positive, not the negative, and don't do that. Uh, don't do what we just saw. Vince Vaughn was getting nagged. Am I by uh, nagging, perfectionist, telling what he's doing wrong? Uh, my husband would call it. I can't believe I'm saying this on national TV. Um, directing his traffic, and so the opening okay. of the book talks about just yeah. not directing his I, traffic. I love this line you said. Men are simple, not dumb. What do you mean by that? Really important. Men are so simple to love. All they want is sex, companionship, and respect. And women are so complicated that they need a whole lot more. But they don't realize how easy right. it is yeah. if you tap into that femininity to get that man to, to be more receptive to what you it's want. It's so then, simple. I have to ask it's you this. So last, night, right? last night when I found out you were going to be on the show and I was reading you know, about your information about the book and all of that, as a woman, do, are you getting some fallback? Because it's like I don't expect to hear this message from a woman because we all think it's the man's problem. And to me is the problem that we're constantly pointing fingers in the men when I'm saying we're the ones who are actually kind of but the problem. But don't you think it can be both? I mean, why is it, it always our fault? Okay, so it's not so much that it's always your fault. It's that there's a dance. The male-female dance is such that the, women, the woman kind of steers the relationship both. And men feed off of that. So if you exude really positive energy, really feminine energy, they're very responsive to that. Mm -hmm. If you're coming in with all this negativity, or not, should, not, not negativity, but if you're coming in with all this hardness, right. they recoil. Sure. They don't it's, want it. Sure. They're so looking for something Does the soft. man need to change at all, though, to help with this? They, absolutely. And um, that's certainly been our, my story, and I talk about it in the book. My husband has changed, and it is something that will happen. It's just that naturally on his part, but it's just that you kind of have to go first and be good with that. So we can leave our socks out, and, and the, we expect the wife just to ignore it after a while. <laughs> Maybe you should put them away and not cause a problem. Well, or, the, or she Thank needs you, to Steve. understand that those right. socks are there not because you expect her to pick them up, because you just don't see the socks or you don't care about the socks. There you go. Wait, you don't do you have wear to socks? See the socks. No. You have to this see the This is a socks. reasonable woman. All right. <laughs> so, what do you think about Suzanne's premise here? Email us, friends at foxnews.com. You can tweet us and Facebook us as well. Once again,